Hi, Sharon Durbin Graves, Painting with Acrylics 101.com, here in my studio in Kentucky. Uh, last week I unboxed a bunch of new art supplies, and today I want to show you um, the comparison between three of them. I picked out three colors that I have, and that I have um, this. The one I got was Utrecht Heavy Body Acrylic Colors and Art Artist Colors, and I have some Liquitex heavy body in the same color well this one is a yellow light this one is a yellow deep what we're looking for are um the consistency of it and and the usability how does it um move and slide so here is this is heavy body okay so this is i mean it, <laughs> it it's it's standing up so Let's see what the Liquitex heavy body does. Okay. That actually feels a little thicker. This is the Utrecht heavy body um, dioxin purple. It looks black to you um, because it's such a dark color. And whoops. <laughs> Let's try that again, Sharon. There we go. <laughs> Heavy body, dioxys, and purple. I had a, I picked up a violet before. Sorry. And here comes this. This color looks a little more purple than the Utrecht color does. Now, that's just in a glob there. So, um, And now this is a brilliant blue Utrecht heavy body acrylic brilliant blue okay there's that and this is the liquitex heavy body brilliant blue okay the color on these two the blues even though they both say brilliant blue um this one here is a little deeper and this one here is, I can, it's smoother. I can tell that. This purple, um, let me just take this here. Okay, so there, you can see it's purple there. Okay, so now, let's try the other color. Okay, so you can see it's purple as well there. Now, they're both, they're standing up. Whoops! <laughs> they're standing up, so, you know, it's it's not running. Uh, that's a heavy body paint for you, and um, that's what needs, that, that's what an artist should be using, is something with some body to it, not, not a craft paint or anything. Now, I did want to show to you, on the back, um, there is either a square that's filled in, like this black box, or it will be a line drawn for a box, but it'll be open, it'll be clear. And that means, this one here means it's opaque, you can't see through it. If it were just a drawn box on there, but clear, you know, you could see the white through it, that would mean it was transparent. And these all have the black box there, every one of them, okay? The Liquitex does. And, oh, see that? That means it's transparent. Now, see, you can tell, looking at these two, that one is darker than the other. And this, uh, so one is, this is the opaque one. This is the transparent one. And on the yellows, okay, so that is an opaque also. This one is over here on the side. Sometimes they're in a circle and sometimes they're in a square. Okay, so I have a synthetic flat brush. I have um, wiped it, or tapped it in my water, tapped it off on a paper towel. I don't want it sloppy. I just want to be able to get the paint. And this is a gray palette paper. Okay, so I just want to see how it moves, what I can do with it. There, okay. I, I love being able to take this big brush and get that little kind of a thin line. Now I'm going to rinse that out. I don't want that paint to affect 
the next one, okay? So here comes, this is the Liquitex Heavy Body. Now you can see that they're not the same color. One, This is a deep, this is a light. I like being able to play with my brush and see what it's gonna do. Okay, I'm cleaning out that brush, wiping it on my paper towel. I didn't get it very clean on one side, so let's try that again. My basin has two compartments, so I use one side to wash with, and then when I need a second wash, I'll put it in the cleaner one, okay? So now here comes this purple. This is the Utrecht. Right through that I'm going, and it's really dark. Now you can see that as it gets lighter down here, it you can really see the purple. When you have a really dark paint, you can add a white to it, and that'll tell you exactly what you've got. Like if you mix up a really dark uh, and you think it's gray, well add some white to it, and then that'll that's the great equalizer. It'll tell you what's underneath there. So here we go. We got a good. We can get a good thin line. We can make some funny little. I like being able to play in the paint and see what I'm actually going to get. Now this is the Liquitex and it is a transparent, so it's going to be thinner. So there you can actually see the purple down in here. I can get a good thin line. There we go, okay? So far, in reality, I'm not really seeing any difference uh, in the paint so far. Um, this is, the only difference is right here in that that's a transparent and you can see that it's lighter color than this. But as far as movability and you know what my brush can do with it, they're both pretty even. Here comes the brilliant blue. Now I get lighter on the pressure as I come down. And now let's see what we can do. Can we get some straight lines here? It's very light pressure. That's how you get that. Okay, I'm gonna rinse that out again. And this is the Liquitex Brilliant Blue. It's, I can tell it's thicker. This might be older paint because I've had it a while, okay? Well, it obviously would be. And so here, I can get some nice skinny little lines. I can really move it around. I personally like this color better than this color. Now, in reality, they should be the same color, but they're made from different uh, manufacturers, so um, I really don't expect them to be the same color. Now, we've been on here, I'm not sure how many minutes, um, looks like eight and a half, and these up here have really not moved. So that's good, thick, heavy body paint um, for a, a, a acrylic paint. Um, that I like to use that. I can thin it down if I need to, but if you need thick paint and you've got thin paint, you can't make it thicker. <laughs> you can't make it thinner, but you can't make it thicker. So I like working with that. It goes into the canvas, um, into the tooth of the canvas better. Um, I, I, I just like working with a heavy body paint. Uh, and I can, in acrylic, I can leave it, uh, it can be thick uh, and juicy and, and have texture to it, um, a thin paint. And there are times when you want it thin, when you will have to thin it down to do a wash or something along those lines. But when you, again, when you want it thick, the only way to have it thick is to have thick paint. Uh, you can't just glob on more thin paint. It's, it, it will just spread out and, and will not be a thick paint. So I really like working with a heavy body acrylic paint. And after 10 minutes, it's still. <laughs> standing up there at the top of the page. So I like that. So thank you so much for being here. If you've enjoyed this, I hope that you'll give me a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, my channel is directed at beginning artists. Um, 
people who are just learning and all of these fundamental things are so important uh, for a beginning artist. On my website, it's www.paintingwithacrylics101.com. I have classes on there. I have a full-blown art course. There is a free class, a free daisy painting class. It's four videos. Um, you can go there and sign up to take that. Um, and there's a free blog on there also. And that is just full of um, concept, art concepts and, and things along those lines. So uh, I also have a... A Facebook group for beginning artists. It's called Bucket List Artists. You can go to Facebook and then groups and then uh, search Bucket List Artists and the group will come up. You can ask to join it and then there'll be three questions that pop up. You have to answer the three questions because that actually unlocks the door. And I've been doing that website or that Facebook group for about a year and a half now, I think. And so I go live in there every Thursday at one o'clock and there's a year and a half worth of uh, content in there. Uh, videos, tips, hints, tricks, um, inspirational, motivational kind of things. And, and this past week, we've been doing an eight day uh, beginning artist challenge. And so we started off with um, are getting putting together an art kit understanding a few art concepts and we've been working on uh, a landscape painting so and then if you're a homeschool family um, you can go on my Facebook group in, for homeschool art club and um, join that that's I go live in there on Wednesdays at one o'clock and I've been doing that for almost two years and so there's two years worth of free stuff on there all kinds of painting and drawing classes uh, crafts um, resources uh, famous artist Fridays for some art appreciation all sorts of things on there and for people today um, almost everybody's going to be a homeschool <laughs> parent at some point this year uh, so um, hop on there uh, and just as in bucket list artists go to Facebook groups then homeschool art club ask to join and then answer the three questions and that um, again it unlocks the door and lets you in for a, almost two years worth of all kinds of free content that you can use whenever you want in your homeschool class so thank you so much have a great day let's paint together real soon